nerds. I've been making my own thermal compound for probably around 10 years now. And I've done this. This is my own recipe. But I've used this recipe and it's changed here and there over the last 10 years. Um, but I've discovered my own recipe by examining material safety data sheets of what other companies have used. For example, Arctic Silver and, and, uh, and other thermal compound companies. And so I've come up with my, my own concoction, which I've used plus or minus with slightly different recipes over the last 10 years. And the reason why I decided to make my own thermal compound way back when was because it's so damn expensive. You can get a small little tube and it's like 10 bucks or whatever. And it's good enough for like one application to put your CPU on your heat sink or something like that. And I always thought, man, it's so expensive. And when I didn't have money, I would always try to figure out ways to do things cheaper and so on. So I'm going to show you my version of thermal compound. Now, there's a lot of people online that, oh, God, there is lots and lots of bad information on YouTube. So many people are telling you to put toothpaste on your CPU or <laughs> uh, diaper rash ointment and so on. Oh, don't don't uh, fall in that crowd. Um, there are specific ingredients for specific reasons, and uh, maybe I'll go over it a little bit with you on what to do here. Okay. But anyways, so you start off with an oil. What I'm using right here is a half a cup of synthetic motor oil. Okay. Why synthetic? You can go with regular motor oil, but synthetic motor oil will sink the heat better because it actually has uh, additives for that specific reason. Okay, so we have a little bit of motor oil in there now, right? Now I'm going to go with zinc oxide. Now this isn't just any zinc oxide, this is cosmetic grade zinc oxide, okay? I'm going to put two, two cups of cosmetic grade zinc oxide. This blender. By the way, let me tell you about this blender. I pried this blender out of, out of my wife's hands years ago, and I've only used it for this purpose. <laughs> Anyways, now I have that, and I have somewhere around an eighth to a quarter cup of uh, mineral mineral spirits. So now I need to find the lid. Where's the lid to this thing? Where did I put it? Let me find the lid. Okay, I found the lid. Okay, now there, there's reason to there's a reason to why I put motor oil on down first, and that is so it doesn't uh, catch on the bottom and leave paste that can't get mixed. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. And oh, by the way, while this is running, the the uh, mixture in here is going to get hot. You want it hot while it's running so you don't get any spots where you get uh, dead dead powder that won't, won't mix and so on. Uh, anyways, so it will be thinner than it's supposed to be until it cools down. Anyway, so let's go ahead and turn this on. And let's let it run for a little bit. Hold on, it's still catching that stuff. There we go. Let's let it run for about five minutes or so. So now, what I'm going to do is get about a third of a cup of Vaseline. So I'm going to throw this in there. That's about uh, a little more. There's about a third of a cup. And let's throw that in. Close enough. Okay. And I'm going to get about a quarter of a cup of boron nitride. Okay, you see that? This is also um, cosmetic grade boron nitride. Now, boron nitride is an engine, a motor oil additive, and the additive is designed to sink heat away. Okay. Now, 
this boron nitride is also very absorbent. So what's going to happen is it's going to, that's good enough, it's going to thicken up this mixture. Okay, so I'm going to put that in. Boron nitride, come, ah, cosmetic grade boron nitride. And let's mix it up some more. Your mixture should look something like this. Now the thinner stuff goes to the top of the blender because of the, of the centrifugal force separating the mixture. But once you mix it all up, you see that it's fairly it's fairly solid there. Also, when this sits for a while, it will uh, thicken up a little bit. That's the reason for the mineral spirits. Mineral spirits will evaporate away, leaving your mixture a little thicker. Anyways, so let's uh, let's test this and let's compare it to store-bought uh, thermal compound. Okay, just for giggles here, I have my or one of my Asteroids Deluxe cabinets. Uh, with the monitor out. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run for a half an hour. This is completely, you know, the, from as far as I can guess, probably the original thermal paste. We're going to we're going to work with this transistor right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do three tests. I'm going to use a laser uh, temperature doohickey like this. Okay, you shine a laser on something and it tells you what the temperature is. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three tests. We're going to test the original thermal compound and see how well it sinks. The second test will be this cheapo Chinese thermal compound that comes with transistors sometimes. And the third test will be my homemade thermal compound. All right. So, let me let this sit for half an hour and let's uh, get some uh, info. Okay, it's been running for about 45 minutes now. And so, I'm going to get the temperature of this single transistor. I guess we can, let's just call that... Ninety, ninety-five, ninety-four. I don't know. Let's call it ninety-five. Okay, so let's pull this transistor out. I turn this off first. Okay. Tell you said you had quarter. Oh, quarter over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have the transistor out, and I'm going to get some rubbing alcohol, and let's wipe off the old thermal compound. Good enough. And let's wipe off thermal compound here. Good enough. And let's wipe it off the transistor. Good enough. <clears throat> so Let's get this. I can work the bag here. Okay, let's get this cheap Chinese thermal paste. It would have been nice that I could have compared it to a different thermal paste or something, you know, a name brand, so we would kind of know. But I don't have it, so. That's just what we're going to do. 
Okay. Kelly, can you put your finger on the back of this? Oh, you, you can't reach it, can you? There we go. Okay, go ahead and turn on the game. I guess I'm rubbing alcohol in my hands. And let's let this sit and run. Just for giggles, let's let it run for another half an hour. I'm waiting for a picture to show up on the screen. Okay, and there's our picture. So let's let this thing sit for about a half an hour and then we'll measure the temperature once again. Okay, so we've been running another half an hour. Actually, the first time was 45 minutes, just to make sure it gets nice and hot. So now we've been running it a half an hour after I put the Chinese thermal compound on. So let's see what kind of temperatures we're looking at. Wow. Wow. It's an incredible difference right there. No way. Let's say we have an average of 90 degrees. Let's see if I can get that in camera some. Yep, that's about 90 degrees. So we dropped five degrees just by simply replacing thermal compound. Okay, so now let's see how my homemade thermal compound compares. Piece of paper towel in there. Stupid paper towel. I thought that was paper towel, that's just thermal grease. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, here, dip this, Kelly, yep. dip this in the thermal. Here, no, here, right. hand me that, right. would you? I got so much junk in my garage, I can't walk around. <laughs> okay. So, here's our mixture. Hopefully, it's on camera because I'm not looking. Take that. We're going to put it on this again. Is that on camera? I'm not looking at it. Yeah, up. it's on camera. Okay. Good enough. And we could spread it around a little better on the bottom here. Okay, turn it on, Kelly. Mm -hmm. The lovely assistant, Kelly, here.
Boy, this tube does take a while. Well, maybe not. Okay, so let's let this sit for another half hour again. Okay, it's been yet another half an hour. So, let's see what we got. Uh, I guess we can call that 88. Kelly, what was the last one? 90. 90? I think, yeah. Because the first one was at 95. Nice! Well, now this is more like 80, oh, 88. I'd say 88. So that'll be technically two degrees cooler than the store bought stuff. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, you know what? Well, you, you think about it this way. We're comparing it to cheap Chinese, Chinese. crap that yeah. you get for free when you buy transistors. Yeah. I, I'd be curious to see how it compares to... Like Arctic silver. To, yes, Arctic silver. I don't have anything like that. Like I said, I make my own. I don't, uh, I don't buy it anymore. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, it's awesome! Mm -hmm. Right? Alright. Well, and I guess the next test would be the test of time, right? Well, you have to take my word for it, because I've been <laughs> I've been doing this for about 10 years, although the formula, or my mixtures, has changed a little bit here and there. So, I don't know. Bounce around from 88 to 87. Yeah. 88.1, point 0.2. There's a point 0.2. Climbing a little bit there. Oh, now it's going back down. I think it all depends what is being displayed on the screen for to fluctuate what's happening. No, now it's doing 89. 88.88 again. 87. Huh. Okay, let's sum this up a little bit. Uh, the original compound, which is, of course was, you know, let's say 30 years old, uh, was around 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the cheap Chinese compound that you get free with uh, when you buy a bunch of transistors, that was uh, around 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And the homemade compound was around 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I don't know if that's a testament to the quality of this mix or if it's a testament to how cheap Chinese thermal compound is. I don't know. Now, if you want to do this yourself, you can buy all these things off of eBay. Uh, it's been a while since I've uh, bought it, but I believe I spent about 30 bucks for all the stuff that I used in this video. And keep in mind, 30 bucks is, you know, a lifetime supply, unless you just go through thermal compound, you know. All right. Have a good one, guys. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Please give me some comments down below so I can tell me what you guys think. Have a good one.